Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crow Bites. Today let's try a quick and easy recipe of crispy vada using leftover rice. Vada is a savory fried snack from South India and traditionally made using urad dal. You need a bit of expertise and also time in making the traditional vada. Whereas in today's video we can make this super easy and tasty vada in a jiffy. It does not require any soaking of rice. All you need is some leftover rice, basic spices and your crispy vada will be ready in just 5 minutes. How good is that? So let's get started. So for this recipe you need cooked rice. You can use leftover rice. 2 cups. Rice flour. 4 to 5 tablespoons. Semolina also known as rava in India. 1 tablespoon yogurt or thick curd 2 to 3 tablespoons half of a small onion finely chopped roughly around you know 4 tablespoons ginger finely chopped about 1 to 1 and a half teaspoons 2 to 3 green chilies finely chopped depending on your spice level a few curry leaves chopped as well as some coriander leaves finely chopped Baking soda, a good pinch. Freshly crushed black peppercorns, about 1 teaspoon. Asafoetida powder, half teaspoon. Salt to taste and oil for fry. So let's get to the preparation part. So at first we need to grind the rice to a smooth paste. So this is 2 cups of cooked rice. Transfer the rice to a mixer. Also add in curd, about 2 to 3 tablespoons. And then grind to a smooth paste. You can add 1 or 2 tablespoons of water if needed. So this is our rice paste. See how smooth it is. It will be slightly sticky which is not a problem. Now to this add semolina 1 tablespoon. Rice flour about, here I'm adding about 4 tablespoons. It gives a nice crispy texture to the vada. Also adding in finely chopped onions, half of a, a small onion finely chopped. Curry leaves chopped, coriander leaves finely chopped. 2-3 to three green chilies finely chopped. Ginger chopped about 1 teaspoon. Crushed black pepper. 1 teaspoon asafoetida powder about half teaspoon this is optional but it gives a nice flavor baking soda a good pinch around quarter teaspoon salt to taste now using your hands mix all the ingredients well so that they are well combined it will be slightly sticky if you want you can apply a bit of oil uh, before you mix the ingredients so this is now ready now let's keep this batter aside for 5 minutes to rest. Now let's see how to shape the vada. So just apply some oil or water on your palms because the batter is very sticky and scoop a small portion of the batter as shown. Then dip your finger in the water and make a small hole as shown in the center. And then just directly drop into the hot oil. It comes out easily. I'll just show you one more. Actually, uh, this step is not necessary. You can just scoop out small portion and directly add to the hot oil. It will not have the shape of the traditional water. That's all. That's totally fine. And now let's uh, move on to our final stage of frying the water. So heat a pan and add enough oil. Keep a medium high flame and once the oil is hot, drop the water into the, carefully into the hot oil. And then we need to fry them until golden and crisp on all sides. Do flip them every now and then. And make sure that the vada is cooked through and the inside is very soft and fluffy. So it just takes about roughly one minute, one to one and a half minutes. So the, now the vadas are fried well, as you can see. And now I'm just transferring them to a plate lined with paper towel and repeat the same with the remaining batter until all of the batter is used. 
So with this quantity, you get roughly around 15 vadas. And as you have already seen how easily you can prepare this, you don't need a special uh, skill for making these vada. And it's very easy. You don't need to soak the urad dal or rice. And it's an excellent way to use up any leftover rice. So our final batch is also fried now so a uh, tasty and crispy vada is now ready to serve they're very crispy on the outside as you can see and soft on the inside enjoy them hot with your evening cup of tea so please give it a try you will love them i hope you all enjoyed today's video also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe like and share new videos are uploaded every tuesday and friday until then goodbye